Hello. So this morning I tried to do a video of me starting the van. I left the split charge relay plugged in. I left it on overnight. Um, I heard horror stories that the starter batteries get drained somehow. Um, but to be honest, I don't have anything really wired up. One light and one light has got its own switch. So I'm not really so, but the van started up. I can't do the video because I listened to it back. There was just a horrible rattling noise. I don't know if it's the, the phone holder on the window or I had a couple of tools in the uh, like bottle holder just down by my knee. So I can't really do it because it'll be really annoying. So just as an update, if um, so what I've done is I've come straight home from work and I've done the two ply boards um, to finish this off. So I'll show you now. And as you can see, I've done that one. I've done that one. That one was hideous because I used the old one. And I think because it's got damp, it shrunk. So all the uh, holes were a bit out of line. But thankfully, you can't really see. What I've done with that one is I did the holes in situ. Um, I've not done them all yet, but I've done enough. I've just got to do one probably down in that corner. Um, but it's not rattling. So I'll test it again in the morning um, when I go to work to see what happens. So that's a, a bit of an update. Lights are still working great. Um, so now I've got to I've got to put the spare wheel back on because I took that off when this seat was getting fitted. That'll only take a few minutes. Um, and then I don't think I've got enough wood for that. I'm not bothered about that piece. Um, it's more faff than it's worth. Like I said, the units will be getting built. They'll be going across there, straight up, straight up here, straight to the roof. So all of this. You won't see i just wanted to do this because you could see the insulation you can just see it sticking out there but obviously nothing goes there um i've got more sound deadening to put on that um and then what we're looking at doing is you might get a couple of storage boxes to slide underneath here so eventually when it's done you'll have like you see in most of them you go along and then there's going to be a piece that's going to go along the bottom here and i've got an idea for this um i really hope i can pull it off it'll be great if it does work um so yeah, <clears throat> losing some light. So the light you're seeing is from my van. Now, just had my tea, hence why the light is dropped, but I've still got to do stuff. So if you own a Ford Transit Custom or any Ford or new Ford for that matter, the, the way the uh, spare wheels held on, instead of, um, which on my, obviously it's underneath the van. They usually use a, a, a plate and then bolt, and you used to have to do the bolts from underneath, which used to be horrific, purely because you know, you're know driving the salt, the grit, the dirt, everything, it just sees the bolts up and it'd be hideous to get off. So what they've done is they've redesigned it, um, which is a cable system. It's great, it, it, it works amazing. So um, what you'll, you know, I've still got it here, so, <clears throat> there's there. Sorry about the lighting. Like I said, I'm only actually. Oh, look at that! There we go. It's nice to see in the dark the lights. How bright this band gets. So, this is obviously the bar you use to take the wheels off, and um, this is the bit where you use to unwind the cable. So let me go and get the wheel, and then we'll do it. Probably be a bit dark, but I'll try my best to uh, get a good visual. So oh, I'm going to have to use my light. <clears throat> but when I laid the floor in, I went to go and get this seat fitted. Um, I completely forgot to do the hole for where you just see it through there. So this is the, the winch for the, the cable, so which you use the end of this for so here's the wheel flip it over and obviously because this is underneath the van it is absolutely minging I did want to clean this up and put a new coat over it but so there's the cable system so you wind up you can see it goes over to there winds this down and in theory you don't need any tools <clears throat> so 
So, but then I've got these. Now these are just styrene blocks, which are stuck together. And all it does is when the wheel goes up to the body, it just stops this wheel rattling. Um, you can just see the indentations of where the wheel is. Well, was, sorry. So let me uh, get this cable down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to So, hopefully I don't nail on any stones because that would be horrific. There we go. And hopefully you should start seeing Right. Try and always, like I said, if you've got the, the Fords, <clears throat> try and get it down as all the way, give you so much play. So, hopefully you've seen that because I've had to... <clears throat> and this is it. So, you lift this this cap up, get it out of the way. Be proud to get if you've got gloves, do it with gloves. And then you can see the cable. So hopefully this should. Well, I'm doing this with one hand to be honest, but oh, it's just doesn't want to play. There's me saying it's dead easy, but I suppose we've got some hands. Let me just hold you for a sec. There we go. Sorry if you missed that. So that's the cable out. And this bit literally just you should be able to just unscrew. But because Because uh, obviously this has been on show to the elements because I've not had the wheel on there. There we go. All right. See, everything's easy with two hands. So what this is, this cable is a backup just in case that cable fails. At least then it'll still hold your wheel, but you'll know about it if it hits the, uh, the road. Hopefully not at silly speeds. So this is the fun bit. <clears throat> so I need to find out where they sat. And then this. <clears throat> trying to remember now. This went up. Yeah, it did. Right. Yeah, it was a real, so the outside of the wheel needs to face down so that is in and that's tied down so that still has play and then put that cable back in bring this cap down just to protect the and on there now i've got to find i know where these go it's just supporting them up there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start bringing this wheel up you'll start seeing some tension on the cable. And eventually. Yeah, back at it. Worried then the cable wasn't coming up today because you can see it's, it's taut now. 
so because that this cable here you know gives you enough slack so you can slide the wheel out quite a bit so you don't have to really get underneath the van and then obviously again this is so what i'll do i'll put this up and i'll show you what it's like when it's finished so fighting with the stone stones in the center that's the tire tire up just yeah see give a good good hit and now see that's got a bit more play so now Obviously, you get <clears throat> to the top, make sure it's nice and tight, and then another quick check. There we go, that's not going anywhere now. Solid. So that is the spare wheel done. This actually belongs in the driver's footwell. Oh, the, the other step in. So this is where I need to do the other step. But I'll do that tomorrow. Let's push that down out of the way. Um, oh yeah, while well, I've got these, so these are from here. For these now don't need them i'm going to take them off but i can do that tomorrow do a quick job as you can hear the other one so now so you can hear you can hear that. That's where the floor at the bottom. You can see how close it is to the wall. Good job on skinny lad. Skinny lad I am not. I mean, as you can see now, pitch black. My hands are minging, I can see it over my face. And it's starting to rain. But these lights are incredible. Again, off Amazon, cheap as chips, and they work really well. Um, yeah, so i just got to work out what to do here. I said I've got just tomorrow night now. Um, I've got an idea in my head. It's not going to be the prettiest of things. Is We've got some old curtains. Um, but obviously because it's got the the uh, material on the back for uh, the wire that goes through them. I think I'm temporarily doing it across there. It's yellow and grey in colour. Tartan looking, which is the, what we want as the theme of the van. Um, it'll do and I can obviously use it for over there as well and the sliding door so next thing I've got to do now is we were given a an old gas bottle and the regulator on the top so I need to take that off and one see if I can get it off and two if it looks decent to take with me I mean they're not expensive to buy if I need a new one um, average between 10 14 quid uh, and obviously the they do come with new um, hose, uh, orange in colour because I know they are good for the gas. Um, and then obviously we've got the two hot burner with a little toaster grill underneath. That's the wife demands because she wants to toast. Um, yeah, so let's go and see if we can go and fight that thing off. Um, I'm going to build up a toolkit. So I've just got to find my toolbox that I, I've had for, there it is, for many, many, many years. Um, I bought it for a toolbox for the house.
think I paid a few quid for it. So simply one of these. Being Q value. Literally so it's got top lid, good container. I'm gonna fill that with everything that I'm gonna need. Tools, fuses, um anything that I think that I'm gonna need. Um so, you know, I can put a kit together. Might be an idea for you guys. It's not a big tub. Um, oh yeah, it's a 16 inch. And what I'm thinking of doing, I'm hoping if it fits, this will just go underneath the passenger seat. Um, if not, I can just chuck it somewhere in the back of the van. So I will do this uh, tomorrow. Um, and then once I've done that, then tomorrow, I will do this whilst I've got to do. Obviously, pull the bits back underneath my so the tray, the metal tray, um, and other little bits. I'm going to give the, the front cab a bit of a clean as well because you've probably seen it is bogging, but it is my daily driver. Um, and then I'm going to go from there. So, as you can see, it is pitch black. You can't see me now. It's raining. Great. Um, if there's anything else you want to know, um, you know, I, I I want to try and do everything I can, and I'll share everything with you. Um, like I said, when we set off Friday morning, I'll show you how much fuel I've got. I don't have much um, because of my new job. I walk to work. I don't really want to leave a lot of diesel in the van because you know fuel goes off. Um, so I will do all that, I'll document, I'll zero the mileage, um, and see how much this van swallows, uh, all the fuel, I'm hoping not, it's got cruise control, um, I always remember as a kid, my dad telling me that cruise control was never a good thing, um, because it actually used more fuel than you driving it, so when you get a, go, come up to a hill, and they'd actually put more power into it than you would with a pedal. It's science. I think with engines nowadays, they're a lot better. Um, and then um, in the morning, Friday morning, nice, bright, early, um, I'll do a video of us or me prepping the van, ready. Checking the fluids, um, tire pressures, lights, um just make sure the, the van obviously i know the spare wheels back on it's a brand well it's not a brand new tire but it's an immaculate tire so i know i'm good with that um and all always make sure you've got your locking wheel nut oh the many years that i've worked in a garage and people forget or lost theirs and you have to smash them off and cost a fortune so make sure you've got that with you um and yeah so i will see you all tomorrow and so i don't forget i want you you and you to bleep bloop down below the music you listen to on journeys i want to create a playlist me and the wife have just been battering our head um, and what music do you listen to? See, I love I love all sorts of music, drum and bass mainly. Um, but when you create a playlist of the songs you want to listen to, I I get bored of it. But when you listen to it on the radio, because you've got no choice, you can't turn it over. You have to listen to it. Now. If I just filled my playlist full of drum and bass music, I think I'll drive my kids and the wife potty. So, come on. Be blue pit. Any song. It can be anything from classical to rock. It could be um, Rammstein. It can be... Ugh. The only thing I don't like is... No, I'm not really, I hate, no, I don't hate, that's a strong word. I'm just not a fan of things like one, 
Well, you're a lot of hate for this, but like One Direction and Boyzone and Westlife and all bleh, them, ba bleh, them bands. So, yeah. And also, if anywhere you recommend to go up the west side of Scotland, so anywhere from, I would even say, Lake District. I'm hoping we can to the Lake District, go through Lake District, past Gretna Green, towards Shangra. Anything up there, we should go and visit. Um, one more thing, it has been mentioned. I do apologise about the sound quality. I'm using a phone. I don't have microphones and the, the posh cameras. I would love them. Um, you know, if the channel takes off and does well, I'll invest and I'll get it. You know, I when I listened back to it, I am like, Ish. but once you've recorded it, you can't really go back. You know, uh, I'm not an actor on EastEnders, so I do apologise. Um, I can put subtitles if you uh, if you would like. I think I'll need subtitles when I go to Scotland. Um, so songs. Recommendations on places to visit, bleep bloop it. I'd love to hear from you all, and I will not see you tomorrow because I want to get this out tonight. I will see you bright and early Friday morning so we can check this van and hit the road. Peace out.